one other thing here with a really neat blaster to check out. Now, I actually purchased this myself from BU Blasters, and they call it the Crazy Shark, which I do love the almost like World War II fighter-esque design there of the, the shark face on the front. Now, this is obviously trying to look like a grenade launcher, but what it ends up being is one of the most fun competitors to the Nerf Sledge Fire that I've ever used. And I don't say that lightly. Yeah, it, it's fun to use. It it comes with it comes with three of these forty millimeter grenades, but really it's a triple shot. It it's a, just a reworking or reimagining of a trilogy or sledge fire shell in a very simple design that just replicates the forty millimeter grenade. And it comes with three. It does also come with a little bandolier that you can kind of try to wear. It ends up looking like a necklace on me, but I'm not wearing it because of that. But this thing is just too much fun. And as you hear, it's got a pretty good pop to it. Now, for those of you who were huge Sledgefire fans, we all kind of hoped that the trilogy from Nerf would do the same thing. And it kind of fizzled out. So we were left looking like, what's out there? Yeah, we still have, I have, yeah, I'm looking over at my Sledgefires. I've got like five of them, and I love Sledgefires. I've got some modified to fire single only. I kept a bunch stock just to have fun in the backyard. This is the best, most promising thing I have laid my hands on and tried. And I say that not just looking at the way it is now, but these are going to be really easy to replicate. So this is a oddball start to a, to a review, but let's take a look at the Crazy Shark. It is a... a I think it's actually a very, very good blaster that shouldn't just get a passing glance. So what do we look at? We've got a a replica of, we'll say a very small scale replica, because just, for example, here's my arm. It doesn't, it's shorter than the reach of my arm. So there's, there's some scale for you. But it comes with, you do get the included little sight, and that is a green dot if you want to call it a green dot, because it just shines a green LED up. There is a crosshair on it. The green LED just kind of causes a glare across the, the plastic, and it kind of gets in the way. So, neither here nor there. I actually would run it without it ever being turned on, because it does provide a little, a little crosshair. But it's a pump-action springer with zero air restrictors. It's, it's literally a bad idea to dry fire this like I just did but these big shells again you get three of them load them up with the darts and just just a tip these included suction cups and the these this one is the ones I didn't use these are FEJs but the included suction cups are actually really really good darts shocker they, they're genuinely good they, they actually they're almost too good they actually fly straight you know, and so you end up with three going in a very tight pattern. And I end up getting a range, of course, with anything. If you, you're going to angle it up, and it has fairly low velocity. Compared to a stock sledge fire, this thing, this thing has basically the exact same performance. You know, me comparing it side to side. I might actually release a, a range comparison video between this and the sledge fire and the trilogy. I, I might just do that. I, I haven't, I've gotten away from doing the range test, but... I might go and reincorporate them. Just got to get new action cameras. <laughs> but I might go ahead and reincorporate that because that would be a good comparison. Because I do believe this just quite simply is, this is the new sledge fire. Now, I haven't torn it apart, so I don't know if it's got anywhere near the possible modding potential of the sledge fire because the sledge fire's modding potential is really high. And I've modded some of them to hit all the way up to... 150 to 200 feet per second, and that's pretty easy to do. That's not a major accomplishment. That's not me bragging. But I have I have a couple that are very, very nicely modified, and it was very easy to do. Could this do the same? That, that leaves us with a, a big question. Could it do the same? Does it have that kind of potential? Because stock versus stock, this thing 100% matches the Sledge Fire. Like, performance-wise, if you're familiar with the Sledge Fire... This does the exact same thing. 
just you know your close range great and the brake action I absolutely love what they've done here the uh, the release is just straight ahead it's just like an integrated mag release on a lot of blasters which go ahead fire and then flick forward pop the shell out and the shell is really easy if you notice the cutouts here that is a nice little ergonomic design where you can grab the flange of the shell they've made it really really nice to use and this thing feels like a pretty nice upgrade over previous Chinese blasters this thing feels like a sledgehammer the grip feels good this is a little folding stock and I will say this number one and only complaint yes only complaint I have with this thing entirely when the stocks folded it's really in the way I mean if you're not going to use the stock just take it off because I know that would look pretty ugly it, it really would it would look pretty ugly back there so I just left it and again it's a little short but you could always add a uh, recoil pad not that you need a recoil pad for a blaster but the the kind of trim to fit recoil pads would be a good nice chunk of rubber back here that would add a little extra length to give some more room and that's just me personally i can live with it as it is because i mean really i just kind of just end up firing it like that because it's shotgun <laughs> i know what it looks like but it it's a sh shotgun style blaster it just is copying a grenade launcher but in reality it, it it's basically the closest thing to a nerf sledge fire that we've had right. and these i would love to see multiple people try to 3d print some of these because this thing could be changed to be a single to get some serious performance out of this and like radioactive designs did he did uh he did some that you fit brass in and that's what i did with some of my sledge fires is he had 3d printed shells to where you could actually fit brass straight into it and of course that allows for much better performance and then of course we'll tinker with the power plant but this one as it is it's basically a very cool looking nerf sledge fire with a whole different aesthetic to it so without i don't need to go much further into detail performance of a sledge fire but in a different format and it's a well-built one too everything here is felt quality and i have been rough with it and I have loved this thing. This, this is one of my favorite recent blasters. I know, that seems kind of odd. This thing is one of my favorite blasters of the year. And I'm not overselling it. it it's a little pricey, though. And that's where I'm going to leave it on the end. I did pay over $40 for this. I left that to the very end here, I know. But I actually felt like it was worth it. I really did. Because... It's it's just a neat version of a Nerf sledge fire, and I love sledge fires. But of course, if you can if you can thrift a sledge fire, you're just as well off. Because this, it's it's over forty dollars, and that's the that's the main thing I guess you have to say is a sledge fire style blaster worth it to you? Maybe, maybe. I bought it with my own money. Bio Blasters did not send this to me. I actually put this on top of an order of some parts for future videos. And for me, I found it to be worth it. Because I've enjoyed it. And that's what it's all about. So for me, it's comfortable. I haven't even touched on the ergonomics, but a big chunky grip. Nice foregrip. And it's comfortable and fun to use. And everybody has been able to use it. It's got a decent prime but not too bad so we'll send it off with a few half lengths which yes i have been able to fire them you can drop them down in and then press it and then boom <laughs> fun as can be and that's they call it the crazy shark i'm gonna stick with that name because shark face is pretty cool but it's Mongoose Jake with my review of The Crazy Shark. Bought mine on Bio Blasters. The link will be in the description below.